all right guys we are here fishing at the spot once again gonna be throwing this budget super light ultra light combo i switched over to this carbon x 2000 series i got this one actually for 35 dollars last year black friday 20 dollar rod got the h2o express angler literally an ultra light combo man for super super cheap 10 pound power pro gonna be throwing the dollar double shad rig gonna be walking out there and trying to catch some speckled trout once again guys this is actually uh, gonna be my last trip in this area man because i got my transfer back home so i'm pretty excited for that so wish me luck man let's make this a quick and dirty video i just want to show you guys that you can try to catch fish with a with a budget combo instead of going out there and catching or using something super expensive if you don't have the money to be going to get yourself a 500 hundred dollar combo you can get by with something just like this so let's get to fishing and wish us some luck man i've been using these things for like a long time guys super affordable i, I only bought one pack because uh i'm probably not gonna fish too long here but yeah, man, if you're interested in purchasing one, head over to your local Walmart. And why I like to use them is that they're super small, man. If I'm fishing up here or if I'm fishing for speckled trout, especially if I know the majority of them are going to be a little bit smaller, I like to downgrade the size of my lure. I like to use like a three inch. This is like literally like an inch or inch and a half. It just makes those speckled trout that much more enticed to hit your lure. I have caught some big trout on this. Believe it or not, I caught a big South Texas snook on this with my buddy fern i think i have a picture i'll try to find it and put it up here but i've caught some nice snook on this this setup i've caught nice redfish and i've caught nice speckled trout throw it out there and give it a constant retrieve that's the that's the way i like to use it and there's a lot of mosquitoes out here man i didn't think the mosquitoes were going to be this bad Jeez. all right so of course i just use a regular clinch knot on it nothing crazy i'm not trying to give the lures a lot of crazy action so i'm just using a, a regular old clinch knot to it all right Always make sure you throw your trash away, guys. And we're good to go. Guys, these mosquitoes are absolutely ridiculous, man. I didn't know they were going to be that bad. I think I have, I should have an extra, heck yeah, man. I always have these extra pair of fishing pants in the truck with me just in case. Because of moments like this, man. Crazy how many mosquitoes are out here. All right, man, let's cast this bad boy around, see what we can get. These double shad rig, guys, you can literally just go like this with the light. And he can charge them up. These bad boys glow in the dark, so. But let's fling this thing around and try to catch a fish, man. One speckled trout is all I want to catch. I always try to just set myself with low uh, expectations. That if I catch one fish, it's a win. And we got one, guys. First fish of the day. Small, small, small speckled trout. But heck yeah, man. On that budget combo, $35. This is a 2000 super light and a $20 rod first fish of the day shot is super cold just trying not to get all slimy like i have been that was the first fish man on a two dollar lure we got a uh got a little tangled up here but that was the whole point of the video man i wanted to make sure i can come out or i wanted to show you guys that you could come out here you don't have to get a big 500 dollar combo or anything like that i'm sure you can actually get by with some of those walmart combos that are out there but uh, i've had some bad experience with those bad boys so that's why i wanted to use something that's a little bit more saltwater rated it's maybe like five dollars more right because it's a 30 dollar 35 dollar reel and a 20 dollar rod this rod i've been using it for about a month now haven't had any issues. It is an ultra-like rod, so you can literally feel everything. I'm curious if how exactly it's gonna be when I take it out to do some bay fishing. I wanted to take it out and, and target some big inshore speckled trout and some big redfish. So we're gonna put it to the test, give it a good uh, good shakedown and see how it works. Yeah, so this double shot rig, man, I like to just cast it out there, keep your rod down and give it a constant retrieve, just like the way I'm doing it, just like that. And it's uh, it's what I've been doing for years and it, it really works, man. The little paddle tail flutters and gives it a little soft vibration, nothing crazy. It doesn't really scare the redfish or the scare the speckled trout. It just gives it that little pop. That way they know where it is in the water. I'm not seeing any speckled trout really like pop, but luckily we did catch that one fish. Just gonna work it down all the way down to the end of the pier. There's a lot of people fishing towards the end and it is a Monday night, which is kind of kind of odd. Last time I came here, out here on a Monday or a Tuesday and there was like nobody here, but people are actually leaving. I saw some people walk out right now, so maybe they're gonna bounce before I walk down to that little corner spot that I like to use. That last spot that I was fishing over there in the corner, I caught like, man, I'm gonna say at least 25, 30 trout. It was, it was absolutely ridiculous, so. Quick tip for you guys, whenever you see two lights like this, man, and you see a, the darkness, the way I'm casting it to right there, throw it in that darkness and bring it into that strike zone, man. A lot of the times those predator fish are gonna be chilling right at the edge, looking for an easy meal, and that's where they're gonna hammer your lure. So just that one fish, guys, nothing else so far, but I'm only like halfway down to the end of the pier, so we'll see what else we can get. A 
little baby trout. Yeah, guys, so I was fishing and I ended up running into Joe, the guy that I was fishing with last time. He ended up catching a big speck of trout that last time. So, yeah, I walked over and we started talking. I was thinking about it when I got home. I was like, man, I haven't caught, I haven't seen that many uh, blow ups before that we were seeing that night. That was a lot. Damn, you got enough strength, huh? The people, some people give, give me some. Oh, I have a shitload, dude. I probably got like five pounds. Because I have two right here and then two right there and then whatever they gave me. Nice. Oh, they're popping again, huh? Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, I want to get one, actually. The one that, uh, like, you drop down and you pick up? Yeah, oh, yeah, those also. Probably get one of those, and then, uh, some guys, they have those, 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 uh, those carts. You could buy yourself on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a lot of these and all this stuff. I, I watched a guy on YouTube that, uh, he had a baby, right, and the baby got big, so he doesn't use a shoulder. We well, uses a shoulder. A baby shoulder and he has it set up with like little rod holders and stuff. So that's smart. Yeah, I actually went home and I was like, I'm going to bring my big rods so they can chunk them out there. And I totally forgot them because I have that big, those big old surf rods where you can like chunk them. And I have a drone where I can like take the bait out there. I wanted a raffle, man, for 50 bucks. The, the one I, 50 bucks for a raffle, but the one I, it's worth like $1,500. That's a baby. Yeah, little baby. A little baby trout. He's smelly. You're recording? Yeah, you want to toss him back? So I know there's going to be people in the comments section. They're going to be like, yo, bro, that kid threw the fish. Don't worry, I correct it. And I tell them, hey, man, just be a little bit more gentle. You'll see it in the, in later on in the video. There's some trout popping here, man. Dude, that was, that was insane, man. Damn, dude, they're there. They're flashing. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. As soon as I said that. <laughs> Not a little, little baby, but number four, though. On that budget combo budget lure. I swallowed it. Would he come out here like two or three times a, a week or what? It's not too far, too far from foul, right? I, I jacked it up. It, I've used that thing for for like for months already. It's not supposed to be like that. Nah, but I know what you're talking about on the on the tip, right? Yeah. Nah. Budget combo, guys. Doing work. Doing work. Nah, it's a different one. It's a little smaller than the other ones. You want to throw it back? Yes. Just throw it. Throw it nice and easy in the water so he doesn't get hurt. Thanks, buddy. Don't hurt the fish. There you go. Good job. Good, good job. I wonder why they like this corner right here. It's gotta be like some structure on the bottom. There's gotta be something. According to my calculations. Look at those trout, man. No? Take it. Something hit it. Yeah. Dude, what would happen if all your rods were to go off? We got one, dude. Nice. Nice. What's pretty cool is I was telling Joe, man, about those lures and where I bought them from. And sure enough, he went out there and bought himself a pack. And he was catching some speckled trout as well. You catch a bigger, a bigger trout? Oh, all day. Yeah. That's because I, loos I loosened the drag on it too. Number six, boys. Budget combo. Budget combo action. I'm trying to make a video for YouTube for like a $30 reel and a $20 rod and a $2 lure. Oh, yeah. He could, he could definitely catch Hell yeah, you can. On that budget combo, man. $20 for the rod, $35 for the reel. You got him. Uh, seven, eight, nine. That's a baby, but on the budget combo, man. YouTube's all about that, man. Budget stuff. Our best saltwater rods, whatever. Damn. He, he, he caught a. He caught this big trout on Saturday. Oh, wow. It's pretty good size. 
I caught my first my first keeper trout at the second light. The very first day I came over here. Nice. Yeah. It's a bigger one, bro. It's a trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. Oh, oh yeah. Looks like a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Mullet, dude, again. On the mullet? He was here. He was the one that caught the, the, the 24 inch trout I got on mullet. Oh, okay. Dude, he was here. He's like, I gotta go to the restroom. I'll be right back. And as soon as he goes <laughs> to the restroom, zzz, yeah. like, I, I can't not grab his rod. Yeah, so. no, you gotta save it, bro. What was that on cut mullet, you said? On mullet, yeah. Nice. Uh, make me want to go all right guys we got at least 10 small speckled trout on this budget combo man we're still doing work out here gonna keep fishing for another like 30 minutes or so i usually put on gloves for these for these type of fish bro but yeah. they're slimy man yeah it reminds me of uh shad dude oh. 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 get it get it yeah it's on there come on mm. <laughs> got another one got another one guys <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got one? Hell yeah. Oh, baby jump or big? I don't know. Oh, baby jump? I think this is Almost a keeper. That's funny. They got to watch one of my videos. 17? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Nice. Nice. 17, dude. On that cut mullet, folks. All right, guys. We got at least 10 to 12 speckled trout. A bunch of small ones, of course, but Buddy over here on the right caught a nice 17-inch speckled trout on cut mullet on bottom. Let's see if we can catch a few more, man. What's crazy is, man, I know I said in the last video, but if down in South Texas, Aurora City, if you're throwing cut mullet or cut shrimp at nighttime at a pier, 99% of your hookups are going to be catfish, and I have not seen one catfish being caught here at the park i don't know what it is maybe it's because we're further up the coast or something but there's a lot of speckled trout still popping and we got another one guys oh this one yeah, it's not bad just curious how big this one is it's probably like 15. it's a long one right long fella well that guy ain't shopping on the budget what do you say? I heard 180 on that rod. <laughs> 180 for the rod, for the reels. Is that pen battle or what? That's the pen battle. I got this not the pawn shop for 20 bucks. This is Abu Garcia. You still catch fish. Oh, Hell yeah. I have expensive combos for uh, like when I weigh fish, but not not that expensive. Yeah, like the people that watch my YouTube are like kind of like the younger dudes. Oh yeah. Like uh, oh, that are, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh. oh, there you go. Tighten the drag. A it's a, it's a, that's the same rod with that big trout last time, bro. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's a nice trout. Oh, that's a... Nice. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's like a 17? Did it come off? Yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, dude. dude. Mullet, bro. That's all you, big dog? Whoa. You sure? Yeah. You still got shrimp on here, too? Oh, mullet. Yeah, I got mullet. Nice. He didn't even, uh, he didn't take, the, he didn't take it off of there. You, you want to take it or what? Yeah, if you don't want, I'll take them if you don't want them. No, it's a trout. It's a trout. It's a trout. Through trout. That's this meaty, bro. Little thick girl. You got another one, guys, on that dead mullet on bottom, man. I keep throwing these artificial lures, but maybe to catch the bigger trout, you got to catch bait. Mullet's what the big girls want right now, bro. Damn, dude, you can cast that one far. So I'm about for 20 bucks at the pawn shop? Right? That's the Abu? Yeah, Abu. It's Old nice. school, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nah. You bought the combo for 20 bucks? Yeah. Oh, damn, dude. That's a good deal. Brand new, this reel is like well, maybe like 150. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A rod, maybe like maybe like 50 bucks. I don't even know what kind of rod it is. It works. Yeah. Man, I want to see someone hook up to like a big old black drum, guys. Everyone's hooking up to some nice speckled trout. There's a bunch of babies here that I'm catching on these artificial lures, but big ass black drum right now, just to get it on video, that'd be sick. Got another one, boys. Number 15 or 16 or something like that. I'm probably annoying you guys with all these trout, but man, what's that? Uh, kind of. Right. Nah, it's a spectacle. <laughs> yeah, fun fight, guys. Whenever you're fishing at a pier and there's a lot of people walking behind you, just be careful where you're. Be careful when you cast that lure back. You don't want to end up hooking someone. A little double up. Yeah, guys, we absolutely slayed those speckled trout on those artificial lures, man. If you guys have caught fish like this before at a pier, comment below. Let me know what lure you were throwing. Like I said in the video, I've said it multiple times, man. I was using that double shad rig. It was like $2, or it is $2 at Walmart. And it was doing the job all night. You're a believer in those $2 lures now, huh? <laughs> You're like, nah, dude, the, the mullet's what's... 
<laughs> Catching the keepers though. The lures are fun. I will throw it all day. Especially like if you have kids and you bring them out here, just set them up on a little rod like this. Just have them catch small trout all day. No, oh, for sure they will. Oh, that's a that's a bigger one, bro. There, that's a keeper. Think so? Yeah. That's a 15 and a half, bro. Oh, missed it. Let go. Yeah. It looks longer. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Let me get up here. Might be 15. You don't have to jump Damn, dude. 15 and a half. Nice. Nice. So, of course, my GoPro died, man. But what I saw right here at the end of the pier, you can kind of see a game warden actually showed up and started checking people. So I figured, hey, man, let me just get my license. Let me get my ID. That way I can show it to him. That way when he rolls up, I don't have to be waiting around or anything like that. I can show him that I'm legit. And uh, that's what ended up happening. Yeah, so the game warden came and checked us and we were good to go, man. But check out this last catch of the day. This has only happened to me like once or twice in my lifetime of fishing. And it's crazy that it happened to Joe on this night. Double, bro. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way through, man. I wanted to show you that you can go out there and uh, get a combo on a budget and you can still catch speckled trout. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.